Welcome to the Turaco Creative Cast, where we talk Turaco, creativity, and other stuff. My name is Frank Salazar, and if, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you feel like liking this video, give this video a like. And uh, today we're just going to have a quick short update. We'll probably be here uh, roughly 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, you can find me on Sarasar Art Nation on YouTube, also on Instagram. There is a link tree in the description below. And I got I got banners here. So you can just go to the Turaco Creative Cast uh, link tree there. You'll find my stuff and you can find you can go to my coffee account and find some uh, some uh, cool PDF comics that if you donate the minimum of three dollars, I will send those to you. And uh, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I got to promote for now. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Judd, is this going to be another twenty to thirty minute hour? Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, let me take this uh, link off. The next one, we're planning on making the next one an hour, so let's see if it'll be a... <laughs> The next one will be uh, two hours. 30 hours in it, no. We'll, 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 we'll plan for an hour, but we'll probably go two hours. <laughs> yeah, we might do that. Catch up for all yeah. that time. It's been yeah. kind of busy and crazy around the house. I woke up to like vibrating the house sea shanties mm -hmm. with a subwoofer and it's like the what is it is it the whaler man or weller man it's the my brother's playing it all the time whaling whaling genius well, it's like a sea shanty, so it's like something that a whole bunch of guys are singing on um, on a boat while they're out at sea. Oh, okay. It's about whaling. Oh. It's uh, basically, there's more people in the house, so it's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> cool. Oh, um, like, before we we before we get into that, uh, who are you, and where can we find you? Who am I? Uh, yeah. Who are you, stranger? Oh no! <laughs> Welcome to the Taraco Creative Cast. I am Anna Rub, and I have things on my head basically all the time. Yep, and AKA Mask Woman. Yep, I also go by that. And you can find me on Instagram at Anna Rob Arts, and then there's like a link tree and other stuff. I'm working on updating. It's been oh, a research phase the last two weeks and I've spent a lot of my time in cool down from social time uh, and playing games and stuff like that with the cousins um, which are actually like they're looking for a new house in Texas it sounds like but we'll see how that goes they're hanging out here and they have two cats which are adorable mm -hmm. but I've been and doing lots of research research for hours is uh are two of them still in texas right now or are they yeah. back home one of the one of the twins and then the cousin or the the uncle they are uh, somewhere where my brother uh one of my brothers uh is in in yeah. dallas not in the same like area but like you know in that vicinity. Well, actually, the one... Oh, I'll go ahead and name him. The one that's down there in Texas right now, the cousin, that's that's John. We've had him on the live stream in the past. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's John. He's no. in... Well, well, I don't know where he is. <laughs> oh, I'm toxic. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Uh, so yeah, I have a he's, in, he's in Texas. I have half a list of notes here. The last thing that I was doing, 
Oh, this this plays in, so I'll ask the question. What have we been up to? <laughs> That's part of it, I guess. So what have you been up to? Well, I've been doing the uh, 30 Days of Mini Comics Challenge. Uh, started and created by yours truly. Uh, I think I started that last Monday. So this is day eight. Um, I'm just now just doing a little bit of work on it. Uh, so I've been working today. I've been working for uh, the last few days. Uh, so, um, so I've been trying to get in, get in some comic making uh, during those uh, those days that I've been working. So um, I got most of this mini comic finished. It's the Texas Threes, How I Survived Snowvid Twenty One. <laughs> so, so I got the uh, basic pencils. They're still I'm gonna fill in. I'm uh, Fill in text. Spoilers, he survives. And uh, <laughs> yeah. And I still gotta like, uh, add some stuff here. Yeah. And then end it. <laughs> so this is almost uh, almost done. Mm -hmm. so. And that's for your 30 days of making mini comics challenge, isn't it? Mm hmm. And uh, I think after that, I'll, after this one, I'll start. Another mini comic. I'll probably uh, actually start working on the uh, Captain God with a Mask Woman. <laughs> cool. Uh, issue yeah. three, I think. Need to so see how you uh, develop out that whole crazy world. Yeah, yeah. There's a. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it here last time, but I know I mentioned it to to you because I was just going to do three issues. Uh, three mini issues, then put it aside for a bit while I worked on some other projects and then go back to it and make it a, a full uh, comic. Um, since we've been going back and forth, adding stuff, uh, so there's like little things that I want to set up. So there's probably going to be four mini issues. Mm -hmm. So the third one is is going to have, it. it's going to set up a couple of things. And then in the fourth one, it'll it, it'll set up or, or or at least will reveal a part of it that I want to. I think I, I I accidentally said it last time, but I didn't go into it, so I, I'm I'm not gonna remind you. I don't remember you. <laughs> what you said. That way. But I uh, yeah, and then then from there, I, I do want to turn it into uh, a full page uh, comic, which I will be taking those. Uh, all those just do it like a bigger size, a, a larger size, and I'll add another part of the story. So uh, that's something I want to take a little bit more of my time uh, and just develop some some things because uh, I think we got a good story, and I want I want that to be like the focus. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so yeah, there's uh, stuff coming with. They might yeah. get a change later on. We'll see. I think that was one of the. And I am doing the other mini comic. I am doing another mini comic that I. <laughs> That's a hint. I am doing a I did some videos about and doing one about in with a robot. Oh, and he just dropped out. Well, there's a cat that wants to drink my uh, my water over here. <laughs> and I have no idea more than half of what he just said. He'll probably join. I'll set this over here. Hello, kitty. 
you guys can appreciate the chat. Um, oh, he's still talking. I can't see the chat. Uh, you're pretty roboting, right? She wants to be the breakaway star. Welcome back. I can at least sort of see your face. I wonder if this is the um, caused by the internet connection that he has, because this is the same issue that we ran into um, not too long ago. In any case, though, I will at least talk about some of what I've been working on. Uh, I've been working on, well, I did mention that I've been researching. I read a book by Manifest, Chris Greenwood, and I'm actually using it to hold up my iPad right here. So, okay. This book from Red to Black, and it's actually a really good one. Uh, I'm thankfully not in debt, but it is about getting out of debt. And there's a lot of general like financial advice. And he's really like a motivational speaker type person too. I like what he has to say. But the other one that coincides really well with that, at least in my collection, that I've been researching and just devouring this last week is... The pocket small business owner's guide to building your business because um i'm not a business major but i'm trying to learn as much as i can so that i can like figure out all that stuff that goes into being an independent contractor or starting a self-employed business or self-publishing and all of those things that i have not done so i'm aiming to learn and gather as much experience as i can well, experience doing it and knowledge as I can. And then I'll share with you guys throughout like the journey of it. And I can't see the comment section right now. So if he shows up, I'll see if there's anything. Keep the meanie. You just Okay. You just All right, so can you can you see me now? I can understand and see you now. Oh, okay, cuz I was talking and I couldn't see you. I just had a black square. So I left and came back, and you're talking about business, and then it stopped. <laughs> so, like, so what's the last thing I was? I was what's the last thing that I said that you understood? Mm. The last thing I recall was that you were talking about your mini comic stuff. Okay. It was comment by Judd. I think it was before you talked about that, though. So I actually missed quite a bit. Yeah, I was talking for a while. I couldn't see you. I, there was just a black square on, on my end. Mm. And I was talking and I, and I saw I did see Judd say Anna's in charge now. Like, oh, okay, I guess no one can see me. <laughs> yes. so I don't know what, what you were talking about. Um, uh, just, so so I, I was just recapping that I am doing another mini comic. I, I'm working on two yeah. at the same time. And the one that I'm working on, uh, apart from Texas Trees, is one that uh, it's an event that happened to me when I was a kid. And, and you know about it. I've already shown you the pages. So the pages are roughed out. And uh, I'm going to go back and uh, refine them. I did refine a page, the first page, so I can go back and uh, work on that, and and I I don't know how that one's going to be received. I don't know if that's gonna uh, if I'm gonna do anything with that one in particular. But I am gonna take elements and go into it, uh, something else. So so I'm gonna use that. I think it'll and, be good. The one you're talking about right now cryptically 
I think it'll be a good standalone mini comic. Okay. It's just a little, and maybe you'll fit it into a, a collection in the future that has other life experiences in it. Mm-hmm. On a more creative note on my end, though, because I, mm-hmm. I was talking about business, that's what I've been focusing on right now. Yeah. Yeah, I heard, I heard part of that. It's like, oh, okay, like you went into the business part already. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, been working on developing a story for the manga nine volt anthology and so i gotta mm-hmm. do some updates in the discord i've done some up- well i guess i did do a couple concept art updates but i have some more i've uh, been working on concept art for the characters working on a animatic type thing there's a program called flip a clip which is free to use as an app and it's mm-hmm. super advanced as an animation software but if you want to make yeah. like, storyboards, thumbnail sketches, and all of that, and put it in an animation format. Yeah. I've been making thematics that way. And uh, that's been really mm-hmm. nice for outlining the story. So I think I'm at, like, frame 78. Okay. So made pretty good headway. And then I was going and using it in tandem with Clip Studio Paint EX and posing characters to match the general poses that I had in my thumbnail sketches. And then I was going to work around the perspective that's offered in Clip Studio Paint around the model. I was using a playground. It's like this um, this big dungeon type cave area in a fantasy realm. And I'm like, huh, I need an area that I can use to quickly get the perspective down for the background. That way it's not just a blank white space and you got to make an estimate for where the perspective is going to be. Like, Or you could put a box around the figure and then figure it out. But it's more complicated because I'm talking with my hands. Um, so I just put a playground down. I'll be drawing dragons over it and all of that. And I'm working on NSTAR Arrival still, too. I've been working on um, fixing some of the... Mostly, really, I keep getting stuck in the concept art phase. But at the same time, I really, really enjoy doing concept art. That's just yeah. an interesting observation I found. Sounds good. And uh, I know um, I've seen your, your concept art, and uh, I... I, I enjoy it like as concept art. I think it's it's really good. And Judd has a, a good comment here. I just want to get to that. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, some of the concept art you've done for Mass Woman. Uh, I use it as guides. So, mm. so sometimes when you change up a character, like, okay, I got to go back and <laughs> add this or change this. <laughs> But it's, it's good stuff, though. I, I, I like it. Uh, <laughs> and I do want to get to what Judd is saying. And I, there's something I do want to say about this. I am surprised fine art majors don't get more classes in how to be self-employed. A buddy got one class in gallery presentation, but nothing sells or marketing uh, his work. Mm-hmm. And uh, Randy's here. So, yeah, that is something I do recommend. Um, if you're taking, you know, like Anna, she took some art uh, art classes. Also, take this class, doing kind of art. Uh, uh, take this class, uh, those will help you. Um, I'm doing something like that, like, um, like specific business classes, but I do go to the Choose to Change Foundation on Thursdays and uh, uh that's a that's a part of it like you know like getting the the tools and steps to starting your own business so it's stuff that i've used uh, in the past uh, mm-hmm. but i am thinking about uh looking for an online business class and uh, see what that's about so <laughs> oh, yeah and <laughs> like try out linkedin i in college i did actually have a business class i think it was a business 101 taught by an accountant oh uh, cool. it was focused on 
this this is what's kind of funny in the class a lot of the curriculum is focused on training the people there to be employees or business owners mm -hmm. or, you know like of a a franchise a corporation a larger yeah large scale something and then um, the teacher is like we kind of need like i'd like to see more smaller startups and uh llc sole proprietorships yeah. smaller independent companies starting up out of the class people in the class at least but um, yeah 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 because I, I don't people tend to like oh i want to have this huge business but like before you get to that be, huge business oh, you gotta you gotta start no, with a small one something yeah <laughs> And now that I talk about it, I did take a business class. I took it for um, being an administrative assistant. I never did anything with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I did learn a few things. Uh, so there, there's stuff that I will go back to. I had a pretty cool accounting book because uh, uh, I had uh, Accounting 101, and they gave us this, like, really uh, big manual, but I gave it to one of my classmates because they went into the more advanced accounting and mm -hmm. they at and they had done away with the books and were just doing it digital and she she uh texted me and said like do you still have your book because like i i need like the actual book so i went and gave it to her and then i heard that they got their books so like okay like man, I was gonna keep that book, but you know, hopefully she she used it. <laughs> mm. so, yeah. But yeah. So I need to go back and just just do a refresher course, do a, a a crash course. And Randy is here. Hey, Randy. I don't just, know if everyone can access it, but in my library, one of the more valuable pieces of information. Um, that I got in an off-topic discussion during an art class at college was that through my local library's portal on the website, you can mm -hmm. actually access with your library card, uh, lynda.com, which is, I don't know if the name has changed or something, but it's connected to LinkedIn. And so subscribers mm -hmm. on LinkedIn can pay to access the classes and stuff. But the idea is if you're a member of the library or on the library computers, you can access and take job training. Okay. And so that's kind of an intriguing thing. And I don't know if it works for everyone's library, but you might try it. Yeah, I, I know you, you had told me about it, so I looked into it. So my library doesn't have that portal, my local mm -hmm. library. Uh, and Judd is saying Josh uh, Blaylock has a book about self-publishing comics. Wonderful. Uh, a, a skim of it seemed like a good info. So I do. I did buy two books on self-publishing uh, your own comic, uh, and I have them here. So it's that. So that's stuff that I'm gonna be uh, delving more into. I bought all these books, and so now it's just like, okay, I need to actually sit down and set time aside mm -hmm. <laughs> and go through them. And Judd says Anna needs to resolve the cliffhanger. So that is going to stay a cliffhanger for a while. Well, not for a while, but at least for now. Uh, because we are going to talk about it later on. So, because uh, because I know Anna has some in more info on that. Which we are at the uh, 24 minute mark. So. Oh. That means you're paying attention to the clock. Yes. I forgot. To yeah. Think. Yeah. Anna was uh, supposed to be watching the clock and setting a timer, and that, but I've, I've been looking at the clock. Well, <laughs> I had a stopwatch that I was going to glance at, but then the screen went dark. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is like a multi layered cliffhanger. I'll have a lot more to say, though, when I. Um, like probably next week because there's a couple people I want to get back to and we're going to have just, uh, kind of business discussions, neighbors and then people online. And I'll finish this book 
and I've got some stuff worksheets on my computer that I'm working through. And it's kind of exciting, kind of fun, but also like a ton of work and kind of like yeah, yeah. Yes, and I am going to be going to my old books, to the books I have, and uh, just refreshing. And I'll be talking to, I'll ask Orlando some questions also. Um, uh, because uh, he has a lot of uh, business advice. So, uh, so hopefully we'll have a really good show. We're going to aim for next week. Uh, so hopefully we'll, we'll have a a good show next week. And uh, we'll, we'll be talking in business. So, in poetry. <laughs> business and poetry. Yep. All right. I'll write a poem. The angled desk and we can't keep flipping <laughs> while walking across it. <laughs> Mimi. Oh, and she's just trying to steal my water now. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Yes, thanks for checking out, guys. We are going to keep it uh, short uh, this week. But hopefully next week, we'll we'll probably go for an hour or more. We'll see. And I'm, so uh, you can find Anna at yeah. her link tree. There's a, a link in the description below. And let me do just... so our all her stuff is there. And if you want to support the show, you can go to the Turaco Creative Cast Teespring store. There is a uh, a link in the link tree for the Turaco Creative Cast. You can buy a shirt, buy a mug. Um, and it supports the show. You can go to Anna's link tree, and she has her own Teespring store, the uh, Dream Hatchling Studios <laughs> Teespring store, and you can get a pretty cool uh, mug with Anna's Anna's face on it, and also some shirts. And mm -hmm. uh, that help that helps out uh, this young artist. So, <laughs> I actually just started. See, this is something. We're going to go slightly over time, aren't we? Um, we'll we'll get we got a few minutes. Yes. So at first I was like mm, not sure if I wanted to make like a Kofi or a Patreon account. But now that I've had a little bit of time while I'm doing a bunch of research on these things. Because um, I didn't want to like set up something where people could subscribe and then they'd kind of like expect me to post something and then I'd like totally slack off and be like ah I got busy and didn't post anything online because I haven't <laughs> posted anything online in a couple months have I well on the discord I post in the discord but I did go and finally set up a Kofi. it's not totally set up yet but it's a start <laughs> and once I have a clear outline I work by schedules better That'll be good. Can't wait to uh, to see that. Oh, and speaking of yeah. Kofi, I have my own Kofi account, Saddle Nation Designs, and I do have stuff up there. So if you <laughs> donate the minimum of three dollars or more, you get some pretty cool PDF comics. I do have the uh, second issue of Captain Goggles and Mask Woman. So if if you uh, Donate and just put in like in the notes, you know, uh, Captain Goggles Mask Woman issue two. I will send that to you. If you haven't uh, donate anything in the past, you get everything. You get everything that I got there. And so there's uh, PDFs, there's printouts, there's coloring pages, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And I will be making a issue two digital bundle for the Captain Goggles and Mask Woman. Because I do have some bookmarks and a couple other coloring pages, uh, so so that is coming. But you, you can get that now if you just like donate, and I'll, I'll send you what what I have so far. Uh, we actually had a someone uh, get the first, not the, the um, get it first in digital form. Uh, no one else has got it in in digital form, so someone did uh, uh, donate. So they said so they got that recently. <laughs> so. Mm. cool and uh, I think that's it for tonight thanks everyone for coming out I know it was a short 
a short uh, video, but uh, hopefully next week we'll we'll give you more content. So. Mm -hmm. Thanks right. for joining us. We'll catch right. you later.